On October 17, 2024, the Australian Ministry of Defence unveiled a substantial new military aid package for Ukraine, signalling the Albanese government's continued dedication to supporting Ukraine in its resistance against Russian aggression. This latest package, valued at approximately $245 million, includes the donation of 49 M1A1 Abrams tanks to the armed forces of Ukraine. This contribution aims to enhance Ukraine's armored brigades, boosting their battlefield firepower and mobility. This move aligns with international efforts to bolster Ukraine's military capabilities, complementing support provided by other allies. With this new commitment, Australia's total military assistance to Ukraine has exceeded $1.3 billion since Russia launched its full-scale invasion in February 2022. Along with broader support, Australia's contributions now total more than $1.5 billion. This significant aid package highlights Australia's resolve in backing Ukraine's defense efforts, as the conflict continues to demand international attention and cooperation. In a demonstration of this commitment, the Australian Minister for Defense Industry and Capability Delivery, the Honourable Pat Conroy MP, is expected to confirm the new aid package during the NATO Defense Minister's meeting in Brussels. The confirmation of this support in coordination with Ukraine's defense officials underscores Australia's strong stance in favor of Ukraine and its determination to see the conflict resolved on terms favorable to Kiev. The M1A1 Abrams tanks have long been a pillar of Australia's armored forces, renowned for their reliability in combat and defense against threats like enemy fire and improvised explosive devices, IEDs. The M1A1, equipped with a 120mm smoothbore gun, state-of-the-art armor, and a gas turbine engine, is known for its exceptional combination of firepower, mobility, and protection. These capabilities have made the Abrams a vital asset for the Australian Defence Force ADF, in both training and combat scenarios. The tanks being transferred to Ukraine come from Australia's current fleet, which is being replaced by the more advanced M1A2 Abrams SEPV-3 tanks, as announced in January 2022. Australia will retain a small number of M1A1 tanks during this transition, ensuring that the Australian Army remains operationally capable until the newer M1A2 fleet is fully introduced. Australia's involvement in Ukraine extends beyond equipment provision. Through Operation Kudu, the Australian Defence Force participates in multinational efforts to train Ukrainian military personnel, equipping them with the skills needed to effectively operate the incoming Abrams tanks. This training, conducted in coordination with international partners, forms part of a broader initiative to enhance the combat readiness of Ukraine's armed forces, further contributing to their ability to defend against Russian incursions. The Albanese government has reaffirmed its dedication to collaborating with both the Ukrainian government and international allies to ensure meaningful, sustainable support for Ukraine. Australia's aid strategy not only focuses on immediate military assistance, but also on long-term stability and the protection of Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. This approach reflects Australia's broader commitment to upholding global security and the rules-based international order. Australia's decision to supply these M1A1 Abrams tanks sends a clear message of solidarity with Ukraine. As Minister Pat Conroy reaffirms Australia's support in Brussels, the tanks will significantly reinforce Ukraine's armoured capabilities, enhancing its resilience on the front lines and symbolising Australia's enduring commitment to Ukraine's defence in the face of Russian aggression.